going live. Okay, we are live. Welcome everybody to the Sunday live show. Sorry it's a little late. Uh, had some uh, technical difficulties uh, with uh, <laughs> internet and some of my uh, equipment here, but uh, we worked it out. And, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and uh, start the show. What we're going to talk about today is we're going to do a movie review. And uh, the movie review we're going to do is on the movie Open. And uh, I don't know how many of you guys have seen it. Hey, Natasha, white guy from New Jersey. Or Linda's on the panel with me. Camilla Jameson, welcome Hello. to the show. And uh, we're going to talk about the movie Open. Um, we're going to do a movie review. And uh, me and my co-host today are Linda. We're going to talk about it, give you our, uh, you know, opinion on it and uh, what we thought of the movie. And uh, if you guys want to come on and, uh, you know, talk about the movie, we can. And uh, then we're going to show a trailer on the movie uh, Something New, which we'll do a movie review on that next week. And that's been highly requested. So, uh Anyway, I'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna put the disclaimer up there, and then I'll show you the trailer of Open, and then we'll talk about it. So here we go. Uh, let's see here. All right, there's the disclaimer for the Fair Use Act. We're going to use for commentary education, and. Uh, for fun. Okay. Now here's the move. Here's a trailer for the movie uh, Open, and you can see it on uh, Amazon Prime. Um, that's where you can get the movie. At. And Amazon Prime has a lot of good movies and stuff, and uh, you know, check it out if you haven't. Voice to the plants and the trees and the grass and the wind. Golf gives a voice to the plants and the trees and the grass and the wind. A good golfer can hear those voices, but a great golfer, a great golfer listens. So which are you? Londoner? Is it that obvious? I had to get away. If you've come here to hide away, then it'll find you out. I always felt like an imposter, like a perpetual guest. If you're constantly walking around wanting to fall in love, you'd be pretty on edge. They say it happens when you least expect it, don't they? I haven't found the right person yet. This is a really good place to start. Golf isn't just about the sport, it's about spending time with people, your intimate time out here and all this. I feel like we're waiting for something. I want to qualify for the Open. Winning isn't everything. Player and caddy are only as good as each other. So you're a team, with a conscience perhaps. A bad shot stays with you and haunts you every time you play the hole again. It's like events in your life, places, dates, things. You know, a good shot never leaves you either, I guess so. It can work that way as well. Well, let's hope for good shots then. Okay, so that was... Uh... Tra uh, trailer of the movie open um, the movie um, oh before we begin uh, you guys know who I am I'm uh, the host of the Roadrunner Network um, and uh, I have a special guest Arlinda and uh, she's been following the Hello. channel for some time and uh, I'll let her tell her a little bit about herself hi um, you guys know me I'm Arlinda I um Hi, everyone that said hi to me on the chat. Right now, I'm on my phone, so I don't have access to the um, chat room because um, I'm doing the stream yard. But yeah, um, I, you know, I'm Arlinda. I, I um, initially started watching Brent like for like because he wears, you know, hockey jerseys. And so that really uh, drew me to his channel talking about he loves black women. So. <laughs> So, yeah, so um, I, I just, you know, I love watching his videos, uh, of, you know, speaking positively about black women and um, talking about interracial relationships. 
And so, um, but yeah, so th that's pretty much else, uh, it about me. I love movies and that's why I suggested this movie because I think it's like so sweet. Um, it, it, there's so many layers to this movie and I actually watched it again and there were some things that I missed in it. And I just really, you know, you can learn a lot about the actors and also about life when you watch a movie, if it's like a, a movie that is talking about life. And I feel like with Open, it definitely does talk about life. I like how um, Reserve, the, um, the actor, um, he's actually uh, the, the character Steve. He, he's um, uh, played by Jack Eve and Steve Eve. <laughs> that rhymes. But anywho, uh, they... Um, um, he, he wrote the movie, he directed it, he produced it, and he starred in it, uh, which, shows, which shows a lot of passion. Um, and usually when I look at people who, you know, make movies and, you know, the actors or whatever, I, I, I can't help it. I research them. And he has a passion for golf and he likes motorcycles. So um, it was just very interesting how he used golfing as the motif throughout the whole entire um, movie. Um, and the character Naomi, which is played by Pippa, Pippa Bennett Warner, she's like a very vibrant, beautiful woman, very fearless. And they end up bonding together um, uh, over golf. And she doesn't know anything about golf, so she's literally learning it from him. And as they go on, um, they, uh, well, she actually helps him to kind of overcome his trauma. Uh, with the uh, what would happen to him um, in golf? I don't want to ruin it for anyone without saying too much, yeah. but I, I just really love the movie, and I love movies. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sorry about that, Brent. <laughs> no, no, no worries. No, that's a lot of good information on that. Wow. Yeah. Um. Oh, and, the movie. And, and they uh -huh. say he they, they filmed it in six days. I I just I can't believe they filmed that in six days. So, oh, wow. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> that, that's pretty quick for a movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot of people have seen the movie on the channel. Um, okay. So uh, some might not. You can check it out. Um, the movie. Um, I, I like the movie. I like the story about it. Um, you know, two people come together and, uh, you know, I, I guess it took place in England. Well, yeah, they, they were both from uh -huh. London, right? And uh -huh. you know, you can tell by the accent and stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, but it, it was kind of neat how they came together, and uh, you know, that you could tell they had like an interest in each other. There was an attraction there. Uh -huh. um, the movie don't really it leaves it open to the imagination because it don't tell you how deep it goes. Maybe they just admire each other because they're doing what they like to do. She was in the health, you know, she was a jogger and she's jogging around the golf course and bumped into him and he's trying to make the open. And, you know, in the movie, it, uh, uh -huh. it's kind of a slow movie, but I yeah, mean, yeah. if you really look at the story, the story's good. I think, um, you know, he loses his brother and, uh, he was his caddy. He was trying to make the open and, uh, you know, it'll show you in there where his brother's telling him which iron they use to make the shot. He says, no, no. And I get he kind of regrets it that he didn't listen to his brother. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he loses his brother, and that's like, you know, a part of him. They're like a team, you know, and it's like uh -huh. this woman comes in, and uh, it's like she fills in for where her bro where his mm -hmm. brother was was you know and they become a team and uh she don't know about golf but she knows numbers and mm -hmm. uh she's real smart in that area and uh you know at, at the end they they he gets into the open with her help but uh i mean and you know it, it's just uh it's a neat story i mean does does relationships happen like that i i believe so it's kind of rare because people don't just I don't know. Um, but yeah, they do happen like that. I mean, you just, you like someone, you talk to them and, you know, sometimes you get that chemistry going and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, well, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, see, um, that's the thing that I really love about this movie. Um, she's just going about her day. 
um, she's just she's jogging and she says she's never been on a golf course. And mind you, she doesn't have any makeup on. Her hair is not done. She's just pulled back in a ponytail. She's not dressed eloquently. And I remember you mentioning this in another video of yours where um, a woman doesn't have to reinvent herself in order for a man to be interested in her. And here she is, you know, she is uh, just, she's just jogging. And she, uh, you know, I guess she's, she happens to be lost and she sees someone standing on the golf course and, and, um, and she approaches him and he doesn't seem too interested because he's focusing on his game. Um, and, and actually he had mentioned um, as he talks to, you know, more, uh, he said that to expect um, fireworks every time you speak to someone has to be very, um, uh, I don't know what the word he said, but it was like uh, very uh, stressful. And it's true, like you don't meet, you don't go about life saying, I'm gonna meet my husband, or I'm gonna meet my wife. You know, you just enjoy life. Go, yeah. go with your day being you and you will meet that person um, when the time is right. And I, like, I, like, like we have said before, and you have said tons of times, you know, uh, I believe in God and I believe there's a divine time for everything. Um, I do believe that our, our lives, we make choices, but there is a, a end or a, a definitive end for us in regards to what's our purpose and what are the big events that are going to happen in our lives. So, um, so she's just going about her life. She, you know, she's just, she's just jogging and she bumps into this guy and she just sounds like she's just looking to just, you know, have a conversation. I don't think she was anticipating anything and he definitely wasn't, even though she seemed more open and he was a lot more reserved. Yeah. Um, but, um, uh, she actually kept the conversation going and then, um, uh, like he had said goodbye to her when, you know, they did that exchange with the whole Tiger Woods thing. And, and, and she was like, really, you know, kind of like picking his brain and like, what are his morals? Cause she was asking him. So, you know, you say he's a good golfer. Cause you know, uh, uh, cause she had asked him about the Teddy, I don't know what he called the little cover that goes on the, the, the golf club head, but, um, she, you know, she kept on asking these questions and kind of like picking his brain, like, oh, well, you, you follow everything that uh, Tiger Woods does, but do you agree with his, you know, infidelity uh, with his wife and, you know, on and on and on. And I liked how like neither one felt offended or attacked or had to attack each other if there was a disagreement. So it was just like a casual conversation between two people who have met. And I, I think she was just looking to connect just for fun because um, uh, her trauma was that she was sexually, I don't know, if, uh, uh, she was sexually harassed by her boss. And her boss, yeah. she loved yeah. golfing and she knew that. And so it was kind of like um, her being on a golf course was her, I'm not going to say closure, but it was her way of, from what I saw, from... Uh, to be able to manage and deal with what happened to her and kind of have some kind of resolve, which she, she definitely had more resolve than he did. Whereas, you know, his brother was his caddy. And as the, as Steve, the character said, your caddy is your very important partner on, um, on the golf course. They are your, um, your source of like, if you're upset, they'll calm you down. Though know, they're your source for like helping you to guide you uh, to make the right decisions. And so basically they make very good partners. And so I found it interesting that, you know, I mean, it just happened naturally. It kind of like, it was not like, because I think we're so used to um, seeing such overly sexual, very yeah. uh, flagrant uh it's very because it, it, life it, it sh I would hope not that you know the way they put portray love or how a man and a woman meet I would hope not that that you would have that experience in natural life um so yeah. I, I kind of feel like it was just, it was natural it was a, a natural meeting of two people who actually do because towards the end they kiss I and mean, well he kisses her 
and she's his caddy because he makes it to the open. Uh, yeah, well, he doesn't make it to the open, but he is competing for the open, and he he strikes the I think the winning shot. Or what I don't want to say, but he, yeah. he ends up making it. Yeah. Yeah, no, what I like about the story, too, is, like you said, it's not overly sexualized. You know, it wasn't like, you know, they meet and then later on they're making out in the golf or however a lot of yeah. movies go. It was like they, they had a connection and they were, mm -hmm. you know, she Bonnie. she was opening up to him, you know, with that mm -hmm. uh, sexual harassment thing or assault or whatever. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were like, I don't know, kind of feeding on each other, kind of, mm -hmm. you know, telling their life story, and they 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 were bonding right there, and uh, you know, she becomes his caddy, and I mean, it leaves it open at the end where it can go to either, you know, they get married or they're just she's just his caddy and they're close, good friends. I mean, it can go either way. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's true, but right. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I think that's that shows like a good uh, a good perception on how a relationship should go. You know, in a perfect world, you know, you get to know that person, you connect before. You know, he didn't see her on the side, you know, jogging and looking at her butt, and you know, and yeah. walking up to her, and it, you know, it didn't go into that stuff. It was just like they just bumped into each other, started talking, and then. You can you can see the attraction, but it's mm -hmm. like uh, you know it's like they're just clinging to each other, and, and they're like uh, having enjoying each other's conversation and stuff. And then in the movie, she she comes back and buys him a gift. So it was like oh, yeah, uh, yeah that you know it was like you know you tell she cares for him <laughs> and he cares for her too, and uh, yeah she was more in the beginning more maybe aggressive than he was. He was just kind of mm -hmm. out there doing his thing. And yeah. as she as as they step kept talking, he got more interested. You could see where he's kind of moving towards her. And uh, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, but if you want a movie that's got action, suspense and stuff, that's not it. But if you if you watch it <laughs> for the story part, all right, the story part's good. Um no, I watched it with my wife and daughter, and they're like, okay. <laughs> but my wife said the same thing. She says, well, I was kind of falling asleep, but I, I love the story, though. The story was good. And, and it was. Yeah. I mean, if you watch it, you know, pay attention to it, what they're talking about, and uh, see where the relationship, you know, starts and how it, uh, you know, moves forward. And, uh, you know, I think – Something that's saying at the end is when he takes that winning shot and he achieves his goal, it's like he he won. You know, not only in the yeah. game, but he got, you know, the girl, you know, the relationship, or it could even be his wife. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's left open. But it yeah. I think it's showing that that he's a winner, even though he didn't get yeah. it. Yeah. He got knocked down and lost his brother. Now he, he you know, he picked himself up and went forward again and got it. And I, I think that shows something about life, you know. We we yeah. have failures in our life and we have successes, you know. And when we get knocked down, we just mm -hmm. gotta get up and keep moving forward. And I think that kind of I don't know if everybody, everybody else that watched it got that out of it. But I did. I kind of thought about life. You know, it's like, wow, he didn't reach his goal, but he didn't say, heck, was it give up and not try again? Mm -hmm. He tried again. And, you know, he was blessed with that woman. And maybe, you know, that's something divine, like God sent her to him and brought them mm -hmm. together. You know, you can even put that in the story, you know? And, uh, yeah. And yeah. Also, so, yeah. Is, uh, well, also, what I noticed is that she helped him because it seemed like he was still really um, fighting with the fact that um, he felt like he's the reason why his brother died. And she really yeah. helped him open up to because like there he, she had did a calculation for him to pick the number six golf club. 
And he said, this is the golf club that my brother told me. My caddy was my brother. <clears throat> and um, he said, I blame myself. If I had listened to him, he wouldn't have died. And so she said, you can't really blame yourself about that. that you, you can't really think that you're the reason why he died. And so she, she literally was helping him to kind to to. I don't think you can move on from trauma. I don't know if you can, but I feel like um, you can manage. Um, and I, I, you know, I don't know if I can speak upon that, but I feel like you can manage it and kind of move forward. Um, but to say that you'll forget about the details or how it made you feel, and and you might have like actual physical trauma that will also remind you of that trauma. You know you. You know, I can't say you move on from that, but you can learn how to manage. And that's what she was teaching him. You know, I feel that, you know, she she was helping him to move on and, um, you know, embrace the future um, and not blame yourself. And so he he was, you know, the fact that he was opening up to her because when he when she initially asked him, like, what, why weren't you golfing for five years? Um, he didn't want to talk about it. And so and he. Even like when she offered to carry his his uh, his bag, his golf bag, she, you know, he was like really upset. He didn't want her to touch it because he said it's his burden to carry. So, um, and, the, and at the end of the movie, she was actually carrying it. So it, again, it the golf motif. He, you know, he was he he mentioned earlier how the the caddy is your partner, um, and I and he said that's you're you're as good as your partner, and it's like kind of like you were as good as your weakest link, you know, I, I didn't want to say that, but you know, that's what it is. Like you, 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 um, your strength is from each other and wherever, and, and another thing is she, she filled in his weakness with numbers, um, by being the numbers queen and which hints, hints at, um, something new, <laughs> the numbers queen with, uh, 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 what's her name? Kingdom of queen. Um, but anywho, um, it hints at, uh, you know, it shows that she filled in a gap that he lacked at, you know, and that's what a caddy does. And she, yeah. and, he, and he showed that her that she's a, he's a good leader because he's teaching her the ropes of golf. She's learning all these things because of him. So they complement each other. And so that's why they make it. There's so many layers to that. You know, she's his caddy. She helps him to make it to the open. Um, and um, then like, also, it hints that that she could be a good wife for him. He could be a good husband for her. And another thing yeah. is that, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so, like, and another thing is because like, I remember like a lot of women um, talk about how they do not know a lot of black women, should I say, don't know when a white guy is interested. And and I mean, I've had that experience. Like, why why is this guy staring at me or um, uh, what have you? And um, and uh, one thing that this movie showed is that you have to meet the person halfway. You know, everyone is fearful of rejection, um, but Naomi, the, the character in Open, she wasn't. She didn't care. <laughs> she just stepped in it and she just kept on going. Um, but you know, people yeah. are fearful of, of rejection. Some people they'll keep on pressing and they don't care. Because they want to get, you know, get the get the prize, which is that person. And if it doesn't turn out, they'll accept that. Um, cause yeah, you you know what, Erlinda, uh -huh. I just thought about something with with, with this movie and that uh -huh. question you that, that you were talking about that you don't know if a white guy is interested. And I heard a lot of black women say this. Um, watching how uh -huh. she you know, talk to him and she was kind of pursuing it, but she wasn't aggressive. She wasn't saying, hey, you know, I, uh, yes. she was, it was like she was just talking like, hey, you know, interested in what mm -hmm. he's doing. And, you know, that might be something that a black woman might be able to do to let a, a white guy know that she's interested or could be interested without, uh -huh. you know, she wasn't throwing herself at him, but she was, uh -huh engaged with them she was wanting mm -hmm. to talk to them and that a lot of times is enough just for a white guy to actually uh make his move and uh yeah. you know with white guys sometimes it's enough to just say hello i think you're beautiful and you know 
just let her know you want to talk to her. Sometimes it, it can be so simple that, yeah. and, and we don't do it because we think it's got to be some grand entrance and, yeah. you know, you got to say the right things and you got to, you know, put, you know, just being a person sometimes and just telling the truth of how you feel. Um, I mean, with my wife, yeah. when I approached her, I just told her how I felt. I was being honest. And she could have kicked me to the curb mm -hmm. easy, and, but she didn't. And, and, it, and I, you know, it wasn't some, you know, I, I wasn't smooth at all. I mean, I was just being honest. And sometimes that just. And, and that's the. Yeah. No, go ahead. I want to hear your, I want to oh. hear you. Oh, okay. No, but uh, sometimes just uh, presenting your true self. And there are true feelings, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, there's nothing wrong with letting a woman know that you think she's beautiful and you're interested. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that at all. And if she's not interested, that's that's fine, too. That's life. You know, um, mm -hmm. not everybody's going to be interested in us. It's but, you know, that can build. Now you got the courage to at least talk to somebody and then you might, you know, later on, you'll find that one. And uh, same thing with the boy. He could have been a jerk and just run her off. But, you know, he was actually a nice guy. He wouldn't – I don't think he was looking for a relationship or nothing, but, you uh -huh. know, just the, mm -hmm. just hearing her talk and they just, like, were hitting it off in a subtle way, you know. And it progressed to where she was his caddy, and she was carrying the bag, meaning – he accepted her as part of him as the team, you know, and that that's, that's in a marriage, you mm -hmm. know, you're only as good as the person you're married to. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, yep. mm -hmm. all the, all the stuff I've done in my life, my wife could have destroyed in a blink of an eye and I could have done <laughs> the same thing to her. You know, I, I mean, and a marriage is two people working together as a team. Um, it takes two to make it work. Only takes one to destroy it. But Anyway, that yep. that was. I do like the story, and and uh, you know, but uh, you know, you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Those of you that have watched it, and uh, you know, um, after we get done talking a little bit about it, I'm going to put up a link if you want. If you've seen it and you want to come up and talk about it and give your perspective, you can. Um, if not, that's fine too. You can put a comment in the comment section. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, check it out. It's not the fastest movie. I'm going to tell you that right now. You got to watch it for the meaning in it. You got to watch it for the conversation and pay attention to what's going on with it. And you, you'll get the message. The message is good. Um, but anyway, I, I thought I thought it was a good story. Um, it was a good movie. It was a little slow, but. Uh, I do like the storyline and, you know, <laughs> you know, and it's like, you know, it's an interracial couple and that's, that's awesome. Cause that's kind of goes along with my life, you know, and uh, me and my wife didn't meet the same way, but you yeah. know, uh, you know, it just shows the positive part of interracial uh, relationships. And there are a lot of positives, um, you know, marriage between black mm -hmm. women and white men are, are successful. Very much so. And we're seeing it. And yeah. that that's a good thing. Um, you know, yeah, there's a lot of negatives to it. And I I, I hate to go in the negatives. Um, sometimes you got to dip into them a little bit. But I think we focus more on the positive. We'll get further. But anyway, that's my thoughts on that. And Arlinda, and, did you want to... Did you want to say anything more about I, the movie? Yes, I or? to add one thing. Okay. Yes. Um, I, I just wanted to say, because you had mentioned early, um, you, you mentioned not too long ago that um, you don't have to come up with a, a suave uh, line to talk to a woman. Because some men, they think, like, I'm not looking for someone to come up with a suave line to talk to me. I just want someone to come to me as a person, like you said, express themselves positively, and then just take it from there. Because I know that some guys probably stress out, oh, what am I going to say to, you know, to this woman? 
I, I don't want to sound like an uh, idiot or whatever, oh. but you know, you know, she she'll probably be thinking the same thing. Like she doesn't want to look like an idiot or something. So I, I just think that um, don't put too much thought into trying to talk to someone like coming up with some grand, I don't know, smart alicey thing to say, or I don't know. So, but yeah, that's, but all I say is that um, just take this, the nice subtle hints um, to how the characters spoke to each other. They just, they related to each other um, on topics uh, that they are familiar with. And if they weren't familiar with it, they just spoke um, and just be open. Like, like the movie says, it's like it, uh, she, Naomi was open and eventually Steve was open to the point where she became, uh, Naomi became his partner, um, you know, as, a, you know, a caddy and, it to, uh, you know, into a relationship as well. Um, and I think that's a valuable lesson. Just be open, go with the flow, enjoy yourself. Don't, don't go out of your way to try to uh, reinvent yourself or make yourself more appealing to someone else because, you know, in my opinion, all I need is just the one. You know, I don't care if I'm seen as undesirable by billions of men around the world, but if I get that one man that loves me and I love him, I think that's more than anything that, you know, world, you know this, earth, this uh, world can offer. So that's about it. And uh, thanks for viewing the, the video, the movie. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I knew some people was I it. <laughs> and and Erlinda, thanks for coming on and being my co-host. This has been this has been awesome, and uh, you know I I enjoy oh, your perspective, you. and uh, you know a lot about the movie and the directors and stuff. And but yeah, I mean I love that message, and you're right. We 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 as men do overthink things, and we do try to be suave and. You know, I, I just came to the point I realized I'm not suave and just be honest. <laughs> and I think yeah. most of us are like that. If we would just admit it and just, you know, just just show your true self. You know, you, you might be surprised on how well that works rather than having the smooth lines yeah. and, you know. But, yeah, it. But yeah, that that was good though. I, I like how you said that, and uh, you know, and I think it's both men and women. We want to show our self, our best self, you know, when we're approaching someone we're interested in. Yeah. Or you know, with women, a guy approaching you, you want to look your best or present yourself as the best you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, that's you know, we all have those little insecurities, like oh my god, if I talk, because I remember I talked to my wife. I'm like, man, I'm. I kind of stuttered a little bit. She said I was smooth when I talked. I, I, you know, so I, she's just being nice. But I, I remember my heart was racing. I was stuttering a little bit. And my mind's wondering, oh, my God, I'm looking stupid. She's going to kick me to the curb. You know, I'm just looking like an idiot. And, you know, you might think that about yourself, but someone else that you're talking to might think, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing that you're being honest to them. And, uh, yeah, you know, so I, I think just being honestly, just being yourself and being honest with people goes further than presenting yourself as something you're not, you know, because, yeah, you know, but anyway, uh, that was a, but I, I do like your input. You have a lot of knowledge on the movie and the, you know, you have a lot of good points and uh, this is awesome. I mean, but. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Th th thanks for uh, co-hosting with me. Um, you brought a lot of information and stuff, and I, I think people can learn from it, Bye. you know. But uh, anyway, um, oh, yeah. I'm going to let, uh, if you guys want to come up that have seen the movie, um you could come up and talk about it if you'd like. If not, we're going to move on. But I'll put the link up here in the comment section. So if you want to come on and talk about the movie, um, it's right there. I'll bring you up. Uh, so, but anyway, Erlinda, thank you very much. Um, and uh, thanks for, for watching the channel. You're welcome. And, uh,
And, you know, I hope the Blackhawks do good this year. Yes. Until they, <laughs> they meet my stars, and then it's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> but I anyway. Hope, I hope they do well. And, 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 yeah. and I also hope that Jonathan Tays can, like, uh, uh, join the team again because he, he was dealing with an illness. And um, uh, hopefully, you know, he can lead, you know, because there's a lot of new players on the team. Um, I, I have, hadn't followed them for a little while, but, like, to find out that, like, Hosa left and Seabrook and Shaw and they traded Keith. And it made me all, it felt so, it made me feel sad because, like, the team that I, you know, grew familiar about, uh, they're like, you know, everyone's gone, basically. And so I'm just hoping that, you know, Jonathan Taves and Patrick King can, um, you know, play together um, and lead this, you know, this, this, you know, this new team uh, to, a, you know, Stanley Cup. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. You know, it's, 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 you know, a lot, a lot of challenges because um, I don't know how is he going to maintain, you know, this, this health issue because, um, you know, being a hockey player, it, it requires a lot of energy because um, you have oh, yeah. to be explosive with that, that puck and whatnot and take the hits and, um, yeah, and it's, it's a lot. So we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a serious contact sport. I mean, you get checked against the glass all day and banged around, and yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's an intense sport. It really is, um, and that's what makes it you know fun to watch the intensity of it. That's what I always like about hockey. Yeah, is the intensity. Um, yeah, you know that's one sport they can actually get in a fight. I know they don't let them go at it like they yeah, used and to. And they but. encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it like gets the crowd going. <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, but it, it's fun to watch. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but hey, anybody watching, if you haven't been to a hockey game, go to one. I mean, even if it's not an NHL team, one of these uh, other leagues or college, and. Um, I my yeah, my first hockey standing game. room only as well. It's yeah. Yeah, it my first hockey game was a college game. It was the freeze out and that was gosh, I, I forget the teams that were playing. I you know, that's where I got my first interest and this was back in the early 90s when I was in LA. I uh -huh. I but I it, it was Maine that was playing the college in Maine and a Canadian team. And uh, uh -huh. I mean, it was intense. I was like, oh my God, I love this. This is great. I didn't, you know, I've seen it on TV. I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, in hockey, in, in America, you know, a lot of people watch it, but, you know, we're more into football and basketball and stuff like that. But once I got into hockey, I was like, man, yeah. I'm into this. I want to follow hockey. You know, I, I enjoy it more than the other sports. And uh, I've gotten my wife interested in it. Now she loves it and stuff. So, uh, but anyway. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hope your team does well. And, uh, you know, just make sure you wear that jersey. And <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do another jersey oh, giveaway. Oh, yeah, I definitely do Christmas. wear it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that's a that that's a nice looking jersey too. The the detail in it and stuff, and uh, you know the story oh, yeah. behind it, how they came up with the name. The owner was a member of the uh, the the army unit, which was called the Black Hawk Division, and uh, named after Chief Black Hawk. Uh, uh -huh. and, and then the Chicago Black Hawks, because you know he's a Native American chief and. From a tribe in the Midwest, and I, they they took his name. The army has a unit named after him, and then the owner, you know, created the. Uh, from what I read, the Chicago Blackhawks. So that's where the name originated and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat story and stuff. But uh, you know, I you know hockey. I I I yeah. I collect I hockey. Remember when there was some. Oh, go ahead. What are you going to say? Uh -huh. No, no, you go ahead. Oh, no, I'm just saying that. I oh, You no, see me with different hockey jerseys? 
Um, I uh-huh. I like how they look. They're very well made, and even the teams I'm not really into that much. I mean, the the designs are neat. They're really detailed. Like this one, I got a uh, the Winnipeg Jets. You know, and uh, uh-huh. I just like the the logo on it. It's pretty cool. It's got the maple leaf with the jet in the middle, and uh, you know, um, you know, the San Jose the San Jose Sharks got a neat logo. The you know the Arizona Coyotes, and I don't know. I just I just like the, how the jerseys look, and I like the sports, so that's why I wear them. Just my little thing. But anyway, I'll go ahead and drop the hockey. <laughs> Start talking Hi, hours. Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, um, they're they're pretty warm. I, I like them. I, I always wonder how how do um, people go to a hockey game without wearing a coat? But when you wear the jerseys, oh my gosh, these things are so warm. So hey, they yeah, are. But yeah. That's how we stay warm. So they they have to make it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, it's warm. Like in the winter. Um, well, I'm in New Mexico. We don't really have harsh winters. Nothing compared to what you do in Chicago. Oh my god. I, I mean, we're, we're, we're freezing when yeah. it's 35, and you guys probably in shorts then. But, I mean, yeah, these, I mean, they keep you warm. You can put <laughs> a T-shirt on. under it when it's real cold and be warm. Yeah. I mean, they're real well made. I mean, more so than the football or basketball jerseys. They're better made and they're thicker. And like you said, they got to be there on the ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. But anyway, um, okay, I guess nobody wants to come up and talk about the movie. Uh, I'll give one more chance, and then I'm going to uh, show the trailer of the next movie we're going to do a review on, and uh, it's called Something New. Have you seen that movie, Erlinda? Oh, yeah, I have the DVD. I I don't know how many times I've seen that movie. I remember when it came out and um, I was like so excited about it. Um, cause I, well, my sister, she was very excited about it. Um, but yeah, I, I got the DVD. I don't know if I saw it in theaters, but um, I, I it, it's a really good movie. I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, me and my wife went and seen it in theaters and we liked it. It was pretty neat. Um, yeah, if minors are under age 18, Okay, this is a good comment. If you are a minor under the age of 18 years old, any comments may your sexual? Yeah, let uh, yeah, let's not go into sexual stuff because there might be some underage people watching. Yeah, good comment. Um, anyway, um. This movie, um, it's called Something New, and a lot of people have requested us to do a movie review on it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show the trailer. And uh, next Sunday, we'll talk about it. We'll do a review on it. And uh, let me show it here. And just to let you guys know, most of you know what the movie is, but if you don't, I'll show it. I'll show the trailer. Golf gives. Uh, dang it, I messed that up. Everything we want at the moment, but we do have. Okay, <laughs> the right one. Sorry. <laughs> we may not have everything we want at the moment, but we do have each other. Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Let's get down to business. We're the brothers. Kenya thought she knew exactly what she wanted in a man. He doesn't have to make a lot of money, so long as he's got a job. No kids, good teeth. He just has to be taller than me, college educated, and Mm -hmm. not crazy. Or bisexual. But with her busy life... You're being considered for partner. Some of us have to work extra hard just to stay in the game. She didn't think she'd ever find it. Your house is amazing. I love the landscape. Then you must meet our landscaper. Until she met someone new. Kenya just bought her first house. Really? So maybe you could go take a look at her. (laughs) 
You'll have to leave him in the car. I don't do dogs. Well, neither do I. We're just good friends. You didn't tell me you were landscaping. Brian, this is my baby brother, Nelson. What's happening? Nelson. It's the help. I tried to focus my attention. You're coming with me. We're going hiking. Are you asking me out on a date? I don't even like hiking. Or dogs. There's a whole list. They have no idea. My hair! I don't think this is going any further because it's not. You did what? With who? For Kenny. Yes. <laughs> Admit it, girl, you're having fun. I can tell. Now, all her worst fears. Are you sneaking off to the OC? And all her closest family. So what on earth has gotten into you? Are you skiing the slopes? Do not answer that. Oh! are giving her second thoughts. I found your future husband. This is for allowing me to crash your party. He's your ideal black man. And if you don't know what to do with him, girl, pass him on to me. I we can give him a load of babies. Black ashy, baby. You ought to feel real blessed that you even invited to this Negro spiritual. <laughs> 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 Experience the most irresistible romantic comedy of the year. What's going on with you, Kenny? You got a man? You seeing somebody? You gotta listen to your instincts. Yeah, but what if my instincts are screwed up? Something new. See, y'all brought your nightlight with you. <laughs> Girl, either you get your swirl on or you got your probation off of the witch. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we've seen the trailer to open enough. Um, yeah, that was something new. Um, uh, most of you have seen it, but uh, we're going to do a movie review on that. Um, and, uh, you know, when I uh, do it, I'm going to have a host like I did with Arlinda, co-host with me on it. And uh, I want to thank Arlinda. You did an awesome job. Uh you know, real knowledgeable, a lot of good Thank stuff you. and uh, uh, advice you put out, and we can learn from that. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it was awesome. I, I, but I have, uh, I have a comment. Yes. Um, the, the guy, the voice, the trailer, uh, the uh, the voice, the trailers, uh, the movie trailers, uh -huh. that man, he, he was married to a black woman. Oh, was he? Oh, the, okay. The guy with the deep voice. Yeah. <laughs> so that my sister she told me that I was like, oh wow, that's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, what well, a, a lot of yeah, that, that's interesting. Um yeah, that and that's a fun movie to watch and stuff. And uh, you know, they kind of go in the stereotypes, what black people's reaction to white people and that kind of stuff. It makes it, you know interesting and uh, fun to watch and a bit funny um but yeah that that was a good movie and uh i i'd love to do a review on that and uh you know and when i do that if you guys you know when i do the review if you want to come on and you know say a little bit about your opinion on it and you can um but uh yeah we'll go from there and if you want to do I'm going to do that every Sunday, do a movie review before we uh, get into the the topic. And uh, I want to kind of make it like a two-part show and kind of condense it a bit. Um, I don't want to go off into, you know, six-hour shows all the time. I know we get to talking and it gets so fun and addictive that we just go on and on and on and on. And it's <laughs> funny because my daughter's like, dang, Dad, how late are you going – my wife one night was like, you going to come to bed or what? Are you going to talk all night? So, yeah. But, I mean, I've been having a good time you know, gonna, with the discussions. Yes, ma'am? I'm going to I'm gonna fade into the, the chat room now. <laughs> okay, Arlinda, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on with me. Um, you know, I like your insight, and, uh, you know, it, it was fun. And, uh you want to come on and be a co-host again uh let me know um all right i'm gonna have you know um and uh 
I'll be doing panels too. I, I, I think I'm going to get away from the jump on so much. And uh, so we kind of control the topics a little better. But uh, anyway, thank you for coming on. Uh -huh. I appreciate I appreciate you coming on. And, uh, you know, when hockey season awesome. starts thank back. Thank you for up, having me. Yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for coming on. And uh, enter the contest. I'm going to have a jersey contest. Um for Christmas time. I want to give out a gift to uh, one of my uh, <laughs> subscriber. Or you don't even have to be a subscriber. Someone that just watches me every now and then. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do that around Christmas. But I just want to say, Erlinda, thanks for coming on. And uh, anyway, um, check out the show, uh, Something New. And, uh, you know, we'll do a movie review on that also. Um, let's see. What is that? Okay. I got to remove. Sorry, guys. I got to remove a couple things because I got videos on there. You know, I got to take off real quick out of the studio. Um, what I want to talk about tonight is... Uh, I want to talk about interracial relationships, but I want to talk about the positive side. Um, there's there's always a negative, and uh, I think sometimes we go too deep into the negative of stuff, and uh, it, it's kind of sad because it does more harm than good. Um, you know, when you interracially date or marriage, yes, you're going to have racial elements to it. Um, you know, it just is what it is. But your everyday life don't have to be about that. Um, you know, there's so much positive we overlook with the negative. And sometimes we bring more stuff to the... Hold on a minute. Somebody's at my door. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, FedEx just came by. I was waiting on a package. So, um, anyway, I want to. A lot of times, when we're in interracial relationships, we get focused on the negative. The negative is always thrown in our face. If if you're in an interracial relationship, dating or a marriage, race is always thrown at you, and uh, you know it's an element you got to deal with. But uh, you know, I think we get too much into that to where we miss the blessing. You know, we focus on, you know, sins of the past so much that we don't get the blessings of the future. And, uh, you know, I, I've created this channel because I wanted the positive look on interracial uh, marriages and stuff. Because with, with my marriage, it's been such a great blessing. And, uh, you know, I want people to know they can have that, that people can come together that are different and love each other and, uh, you know, understand and respect each other and also forgive each other. And, uh, you know, I just want the good stuff. I mean, uh, look, at, look at the marriage percentages with black women and white men. Um, they're successful. That's a good thing. People are finding love, even though they're different. They're, they're making it happen. But you know what makes it work is two people working together, together giving 100%. And, uh, you know, I, I think we should focus more on that stuff than, uh, you, you know, racism and all that stuff's there. But, you know, we kind of go to that so much that we get stirred up in emotions and anger that we we miss out on the blessing, you know. And I'm not saying forget about racism, act like it don't exist. No, what I'm saying is let's focus on some of the positives, not just the negative. Um, I, I know we've had discussions where women come on and they talk about their experience with black men and stuff. And, and, and it's good to vent and get that out. But sometimes we go so deep into it and I start to wonder that, 
some women got so much to say about that. I, I think they're really not interested in, in their interracial relationship. I think they're just angry at black men because one one guy did them wrong. And, um, you know, I don't want this to go into an angry channel. I, I don't want this to be a woke channel. I don't want to go into, you know, honestly, I don't like talking about slavery. Yes, it was wrong. Yes. But I can't fix it. There's no solution for us to just talk. And, you know, um, but I mean, it's going to come up and, you know, that's just life. But let's focus on some positive because we go down that negative rabbit hole. It's just going to destroy us all, I think. And uh, it's for sure going to destroy my channel if I talk about that stuff every week. Um, and I love you guys. I, I, I love the interaction. Um, I have such high, uh, such so much love and respect for black women, um, you know, that I love talking about it. And, and my wife's black because I got love and respect for black women. And, uh, you know, not all of them are good, of course, but, you know, generally I've seen a blessing in black women and I, I share that. Um, and that's why I married a black woman. I mean, makes sense, right? Um, but I like to focus on the positive because there's so much negative in life that why do we need to go there? And, unless we can solve the problem. If we can't, we need to leave it alone, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, my, my channel is about interracial dating and a positive. We're going to focus on the positive. And, uh, you know, I, I just want to focus on that. Um, I mean, would you guys watch my channel if I came up here and complained about white women all day, how they did me wrong, how horrible they are, how this and that? I mean, I could do that, but would that be, what, what good would that do? Um, you know, I have my preference and I don't have to attack someone else because of my preference. I, I, I don't have to go in on Becky because my wife's black, you know, why would I? I mean, I've never had issues to where I had to complain anyway, um, but you know, I, I think sometimes we get so focused on the curse that we can't get the blessing out of it. And, uh, you know, but anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about. And, uh, you know, if you want to come up and talk, please make it positive. I don't want to go in the, I don't, I don't want to go in the racism today. I don't feel like being a, talking about white supremacy, racism. Uh, I, I just don't want to go there today. Um, but if you got something positive to say about interracial dating, how we can benefit, how it can uh, do us good, I mean, let, let's talk about that. Um, you know, but I'll put that out there and I'll leave it. If you want to come up, you can. If not, that's fine too. Um, but we need to focus on blessings because, you know, we get so wrapped up in the, you know, the sins and the stuff that's done wrong. We don't focus on the blessing. And then all you're going to do is create anger, animosity, and then, you know, we're going to be attacking each other instead of loving each other. That's just my opinion. That's just my little thoughts. But, uh, you know, if you want to come up, you can. The link's up there. If not, you don't have to either. And uh, But anyway, um, send me an email on what you think uh, on a movie you'd like to see. We're going to do something new next week. And uh, I'll add a topic. Um, we'll probably do the re movie review after the show. Because I'm trying to get uh, a, a special guest on the show uh, next Sunday. Um, this person, I'm not going to tell you who it is, just out of respect for them in case it falls through. 
and I don't want to have anybody feel they're obligated to come on my show. But this guest, I think you'll enjoy. And uh, this guest uh, is a YouTuber, and uh, I'm not I'm not going to say who it is, but I think you guys will enjoy it. We'll get a good uh, perspective. I, I want to have the ladies come on the panel. Um, well, I want to have two, only two ladies come on the panel because we'll get, um, you know, we'll get tied up and everybody want to talk and stuff. So I'm going to have myself and two ladies come on uh, the panel. Um, I, well, actually, I'm going to take one more because uh, Amy's going to be my co-host. And then uh, one more lady, if you're interested, shoot me an email. Um, the thing of it is, on this show, if I get that special guest, you got to be there. Um, because this person's taking their time out. Okay. And this person is, uh, th this person is a lot bigger than I am. You know, got a lot more followers. So, you know, I want to show this person respect, and uh, I, I want to make it a good show because it's a privilege. Um, and uh, But anyway, so if you're interested in co-hosting with me and Amy next week, um, we're going to do the show at the same time as we did today. Um, we're going to start Noon Mountain uh, 2 Eastern. So this is one show. Um, if this guest comes through, this is one show you don't want to miss. And like I said, I, I, I'm only going to have me and two ladies on there because it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one and uh, with my guest and two ladies. Uh, well, it could be a guy too. I mean, I, I'm not going because we don't get too many guys. So if you're a guy and you want to come on, you can too. So, um but one one guy and one lady. I don't want the panel too big because I want it. It's going to be uh, if you come on, it's going to be short and to the point. We're not going to have a rambling. Eye. I'm going. You know, this one's going to be a controlled uh, panel somewhat. I mean, you say what you want, but uh, it's going to be to the point. I'm not going to have someone go in for ten minutes because we don't really get nothing out of it. So if you want to be part of the panel, you got to get your question. Um, and it's going to be about interracial relationships. So, you know, anyway, uh, that's all I can say about that. But, uh, next week, um, this special, I was trying to have a special guest this week, but, uh, you know, busy schedule and stuff. This person couldn't get on yet. So we're trying for, uh, it looks promising for next, uh, Sunday. So, but if you want to be on my panel, um, shoot me an email. Um, I, I'm not that show. I'm not going to post the link in the in the chat. So uh, if you don't give me an email, you won't be able to come on um, next week. Um, during the week, I might have a jump on panel, but uh, it, it's going to be positive topics because I'm not going. I'm going to try to keep it. You know, we got enough negativity in the world. We don't need to harp on it. And, uh, you know, and we do, we need to go to channels that, that, that go into that type of stuff. So, uh, you know, anyway, um, I'm going to give a few minutes. If you want to come on and talk a little bit, uh, maybe tell your positive experience in a racial relationship. If not, then I'll wait a few minutes and then shut down the stream and uh, go about my day. And, uh, you know, but I'll give it a few minutes. So if you want to come on, it, it's open. Um, okay. Looks like April Rain. Hey, April, how you doing? Hi, Mr. Brand. Hi, Chad. I just wanted to tell you that I was listening to you in the chat, and I'm really grateful to hear that you're getting back in alignment with positivity. And I, I totally agree. That's one of the main reasons I um, joined your channel was because you spoke about the positivities of it. And sometimes the negative things or things that don't necessarily involve white men and black women at this time 
can kind of jade you. So I'm looking forward to just hearing more positives. And um, I agree that some some things like um, slavery, things that are out of our control, because we weren't, I wasn't born during that era. So yeah, I can acknowledge it, but that's not a conversation that I would want to constantly hear or talk about. So um, I just wanted to just come on a panel and just say, if you could um, continue with that, that would be awesome. Yeah, and and, and I agree because I I don't want to I don't want to go down a negative path. And yeah, those things. I mean, we can't hide them. Um, there is a time and place to talk about it, but I think we get into it too much. And uh, you know, I I uh, like I said, I'm going to have more control panels from now on because. Uh, I'm just going to have to nip it in the bud because like, like you said, we can't control something that something like that already happened. We can't control it. I mean, right. We We're already in a spiritually um, chaotic place right now. And we, the people, I don't, I can't speak for every lady in the panel, but I think I can, I think they would concur that we come to the channel for positivity, understanding and, we're not, I, I know I just think, you know, it can be a Debbie Downer and it kind of can jade you to think, well, is it worth it to date a white guy if I have to go through 1955 yeah. Board of, of Education, Topeka, Kansas? Are people still talking about that or can we just be human beings and does race always come up? Because I'm certain it doesn't always come up in the oh, relationship yeah. that I'm seeing online. They're talking about like, we don't see it like that. We see he sees me, I see him, and we're a team. So that's really what I like to see. Power couples that are are fearless, that walk with the person they love fearlessly. And and that's what you know your channel represents is, is being fearless. Like if you are looking to date a black woman, you have to be fearless. If you are yeah. a white man and you like if you like who you like, you have to do it fear fearlessly and just know that whomever you select. They're going to be there. You're going to have each other's backs, and so that's something that you and Miss Sandy have always stressed. That through it all, you all had each other, and so I don't really look for negativity. I'm looking for yeah. things that I can do positive, things that I have in common with with someone. Not really um, slavery um, and all of those things, because that wasn't my struggle. That could have been my ancestors. So it's really not for me to to use that as a reason in this day and age. So, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I can't like G child here. She said, I came here to hear about interracial dating and marriages between black men and other races. And that's what I came on here too. But I have to concur when you go into, um, pan Africanism, those things to me really spiritually are like, we, we, it has nothing to do with white men and black women in, in 2021. It really doesn't. So yeah. I, I, I agree. I mean, unless you specifically have a topic, which I don't really think you would, I think you're more well-versed in what you already know, which is being in an interracial relationship with a black woman. And that's what you started your channel on. And I think that's what you should continue it on because I think it, it, it just it produces more positivity. It opens um, women who may have be, be apprehensive of questions. It, it just, you know, and that last one you did about the three Brad, that really helped me. That really helped me to realign myself, like just vet all men. Um, and so those types of talks that you have, I really enjoy them as they pertain directly to interracial dating. You get me? Yeah. No, I, I totally understand. And uh, I agree. Um, yeah, I mean, I want this to be a positive place. We come here and we talk. Um, you know, I just, you know, we just kind of get led astray and, uh, you know, and this can be, and, and a lot of white men it, won't date black women because of that, because some women are so passionate and uh, have so much emotions and, you know, stuff that happened in the past, the, all the sins and stuff. And a white guy feels, well, dang, you know, I, I can't fix it. I'm, and he, he'll agree with, a lot of them agree with you, yeah, it's wrong, evil, and all that. But if he's got to constantly explain himself how he feels and apologize and carry that guilt while he's with you, I mean, a lot of times you're going, 
move away from that because, and, and that's why I say in an interracial relationship, you got to have forgiveness because, and I tell women, if you've got emotions, when it comes to that stuff, you're going to bring it onto the guy you're with and you're going to chase them off because in a marriage, you got that's got to be the ultimate safe place where that person accepts you for who you are. And uh, it, it's got to be positive. Uh, and, and I say with white people, not, I mean, don't brush off racial matters. Of course not. Be respectful and compassionate. And you got to admit, we got to own up to what the nation's done in the past by all means. But, you know, we don't need the harp on it. We need to focus on the here and now, move forward and be positive. And that's what I'm going to. I'm not, you know, I want this to be positive. I want people to come here and watch it and feel good about it, not feel stressed and angry and emotional. And, and if they yeah. do feel emotional, I want them to feel emotional where they have a tear come down because they feel good about themselves because yeah. we touch something that means something. Um, I like hearing ladies that, that uh, will email me and say, hey, you know, I'm in this relationship and it feels awesome. This guy, I like hearing those stories because I hear a lot that women say, pray for me because, you know, I, I, I can't find no one or, you know, or something's going on. And people do tell me to do that and they talk to me and I will talk to anybody. I have, you know, I've talked to people on uh, a private stream where we can actually talk. I have a Google phone number. You can actually call me, um, you know, and I've talked to people, you know, face to face, well, through the computer, but, you know, sometimes that helps people and that's a good thing. Um, but I want to project the positive because, uh, you know, I just, I agree. It, it's my fault. I, I didn't go there. And my problem no, is, as my as a moderator, and I'm certain. That I'm sorry. I think I lost your audio, April. Oh, I'm sorry. I switched internet. So I was saying I would as as a moderator, and I'm pretty sure the other mods in the chat would be more than helpful and gracious to send kind and gentle reminders if we get off or if the topic gets too left and say like within 90 seconds, we're not going back onto the topic. We can send a general gentle reminder in the chat to say, hey, let's stay on topic, you know, to, to just kind of remind people. Yeah, no, that, that's a good idea. And, and, and uh, there were people in the chat doing that, trying to help me out. And I do appreciate you guys, you in the chat, trying to help me out. And, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate you understanding me and my perspective. And, uh, you, you know, I do. And uh, there were people trying to help. And uh, like I said, though, but uh, I, this is going to be positive here on, on out. Um, yeah, well, I look forward, Mr. Brent, what you're going to do around the winter solstice um, season. I really look forward to what you're going to conjure up for your live around the, what they call the holiday season. It should be interesting what yeah, you're going to we'll do with your live together. in the upcoming fall and winter. Yeah. We'll, we'll put something together. We'll put like a theme maybe or something. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a hockey jersey giveaway around Christmas. And I'm going to do, a, I'm going to have, whoever wins that contest, I'm going to have them, they're going to be able to pick the hockey team of their choice. And then I might throw a little extra Christmas gifts in there and uh, just to show love that, you know, you know, I can't do it for everybody. I wish I was a millionaire. I could just send everybody gifts, but I want to do that. Just, you know, one person, just show you guys, I, I love you guys. And, uh, you know, this is neat. YouTube is fun. It's great. Um, I love doing, you know, videos and talking to you and you guys and, uh, getting everybody's aspect and it makes me feel good, you know, and, uh, that's the positive. And that's what, that's what people have watched me for because I have talked about love, my relationship, my family, and, uh, you know, 
my aspect on interracial uh, relationships and marriage. And, uh, you know, um, and that's what I want it to be about. And, uh, you know, I, I feel confident. It's, you know, we we hit a bump in the road and it's a learning thing for me. And, uh, but anyway, you know, I do appreciate you guys. And thanks April for the kind words and stuff. I, I appreciate it. No problem. I'm going to exit now and get back to the chat. And um, I'll um, look forward to um, these these really good movie reviews and however you tie in the subject. Um, it'll be interesting. So I'm going to head out now and go back into the chat. Okay. Sounds okay. good, April. Okay, peace. All right. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you know, we have a lot of positive we can focus on. And, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you this. Um, I, I know there's people out there on YouTube and say, you know, and some people say that, say horrible stuff about black women, even black men say it, even other black women, you know, and uh, I would say, you know, in my opinion, black women are the most beautiful women. And uh, there's a lot of men that believe that just like I do. Um, a lot of us aren't vocal about it like I am. Um, some keep it hidden, but you can see how interracial dating is increasing every day. And, uh, you know, but anyway, I just want to keep it positive, you guys. And I, I, I love you guys. I love the talks we have and, uh, you know, and the, the awesome qualities I see in my wife, I see in a lot of you ladies and you ladies are beautiful. And uh, just keep this in mind. You, you're all winners and you're all beautiful and God made you to win. And, uh, you know, God will bless you. You just got to do it the right way. Be patient, you know, pray and put the work out. And one thing about this movie, if you watched it or you watch it, look how the woman talked to the guy. And, uh, you know, um, she was putting herself out there without throwing herself out there. I mean, that, that was a good thing I saw. Um, and, uh, but anyway, um, if anybody wants to come on, I'm going to get a couple more minutes and then I'm going to close up this live. But I'll give you a little time. If somebody else wants to come up, you can. And, uh, well, anyway, there, there it is. I'll put it up on the screen. But anyway, I love you guys. Um, but, uh, you know, keep it positive. And uh, there, there are men out there that will date you. Um, the only thing holding black women from dating men of other races, it's not the men of other races, it's the black women. Um, a lot of times black women just don't date out. And they're least likely to date out, but yet they're increasing more than anybody else by size, if you look at it, you know, so keep that in mind. And if you're not desired, why would more people date you more every day? I don't, when you're the most race loyal, you know, just let that soak in, let that sink in. Look how many black women have been married by millionaires and stuff, successful white men. And white men are supposed to be the racist people on earth. So, you know, just let that sink in, uh, you know, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Oh, Carol. Hey. Sorry. Carol. Hey, hey Carol. Okay. Sorry. Hey, the, 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 I don't want to hold you up too long. I just wanted okay. to say um, I, I, I was a little sad last night. I was because of what happened, but I'm going to have, I, you know, I, I just want to um, just say that I just want all of us to try to get along. And I, yeah. I guess, unfortunately, I'm, you know, maybe I didn't do it, do as much as I should have done to uh, prevent what happened last night. I don't know what to do, but no, to no, just, it, you know. It, it's not your fault. It's my fault. I let it go there, Carol. I, uh, 
you know, and and I need to clean that up because right now we're we're going negative instead of positive. And my show ain't yeah, about I don't and I, I don't like I, the negative and I love I love y'all. I love everybody and I love the show because people like me, I don't I don't do a lot of interacting with a lot of people because of we're in this pandemic and everything. And I look forward to your shows. I really do. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. And uh, I like, you know, greeting everybody and everything. I like that. So um, I just, you know, it was kind of sad. You know, we keep going back over this. And I think once you get in a situation with, uh, with divesting and being with other people, um, I'm not saying that we should be insensitive to what's going on in, in Blackistan, but at that, I think it's kind of like you in a mode like kind of saving yourself. And if you can save yourself, if you can pull somebody else out, you can do that. But, you know, I mean, to talk about uh, reparations and, you know, I don't know if uh, uh, that they, if who you know the people that were talking about that last night i don't know if they went to kevin samuels with that or not because i i'm quite sure he don't want to talk about that with the black woman so but yeah anyway i just wanted to share that and i you know i want you to have a great evening with your family and everything and i just wanted to share that with with you and let you know that you know you know i'm still here with you and i'm not gonna go nowhere unless you want me to go oh no no the, Carol, you're you're a permanent member. <laughs> you're, never, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> well, I, well I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't say, I don't, you know, I don't like a lot of ugly, a lot of fighting. I don't like that because yeah. I spend a lot of time trying to keep my vibrations high. And, you know, when I, I tried to talk to everybody in the chat, try to, try to redirect them back towards the, the you know, your, uh, the um the our video what we were talking about i couldn't redirect them and i just like i felt like it was you know i was out of control i, I didn't like that you know it, I, didn't, it, I couldn't redirect them and you know that's what kind of made me sad yeah and th that was my fault i let it go there and then i put my feelings in it which i shouldn't have and uh you know my thing is is i just i just want us to forgive and yeah yes okay yes. My Forgiveness. Is on the, the evil side of this i get it but i mean attacking me on it what's that going to do i mean i, I didn't to, think that was me. right i think that you don yo you you contribute your piece of uh love to a black woman and you did what you supposed to do now you can't you can't move the hearts of the president and all the other people. You can't move their hearts. Yeah. You only can take care of you, Brent, and that's you did the right thing. You did what you felt that you wanted to do, and that you married a black woman, and that's good, because you love you love black women, and you wanted to be with one. But, you know, I don't think that talking about reparations and all that is going to help us as a people, because a lot of the situations that's going on in the, in the, uh, the black community, it's a look. It, I mean, reparations is not going to help us. We got a lot of other issues going on in the neighborhood, and I, you know, it may help a little bit, but it's not going. If your spiritual side, your spiritual need is not met, the reparations is not going to do nothing for us. That's what I feel. I, I mean, I don't think that beating up on you was good, cause look, you ain't got. You just one voice in the wilderness to all the other wolves. <laughs> And you can only do so much. So that's yeah. what I wanted to say. And I didn't want you to feel bad because you did you did your best with trying to, you know, redirect everything. And people they they passionate about that that reparation situation. Yeah, they but are. I think that it's in this this forum is not for that. This this platform is not for that. And that's what I didn't understand. We talking yeah. about interracial love. We're talking about bring uh, drawing love to us, and reparations is not going to help that. It's not going to help us with that, you know. So that's what, that's all I wanted to say. I don't want to keep you long. Yeah, no, no, you're right. And, and and my thing is, is you know, I was trying. I don't know. That's not a topic that 
I'm qualified to even talk about really because I I was just trying to say where does it go? How do you do it? And will it fix society? Will it get forgiveness? Will it be done, or will it be a continuous thing? That was my thing, but I'm not going to get wrapped up in it. Um, I well, just want to say this out. here. I'm going to say uh, this here, and I'm going to get off. Uh, black a lot of black people don't even love and care about each other. So how in the hell are you going to make the white man do something that you uh, don't want to do for each other? That's what I feel. And I didn't feel like it was right to get on here last night to talk about that. A lot of, a lot of black women don't even like each other. Black men don't even like each other. And we're going to talk about the white men loving us. You get the hell out of here with that. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> I, I mean, I think I went too far at the time, but I think it was it's just too much. And 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 it's and I see the hate when I go out every day, black people, they so jealous, they so uh jealous hearted, they they hate you for no reason at, at, at all. And it's not right. Just because you want to live your life a little bit better and not want to have a whole lot of drama in your life, they dislike you. Because you want to live a better life, you don't want trash around your door. Or you don't want to have people around your house smoke, smoking that with that weed and stuff, because you want a better life. You're not you 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 got to be um, too good or something like that. It just it just it's too much, and I see it and I don't like it. But I can only do so much. It's just only me that have you know that's talking about this. But that's all I want to say, Brent. I'm gonna get off of here. Thank you for letting me talk. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you, Carol. And yeah, um, Carol, I have big love for you. And uh, you're a big part of my channel. And uh, I appreciate you. And uh, I, I know I sent you some emails kind of reflecting on that. And, uh, you know, uh, just ask you to pray for me. And, uh, you know, yeah, that I'm, I, I'm always praying for I, you. I, I, I always pray for you. And I pray for everybody. I pray that we can find peace. We can find love. If we can't find love in our own men, uh, we just have to move along and just it, just love ourselves. Just find the love in ourselves first. Then that love that we're looking for, it will, it will come to us. That's what I think. And that's yeah. what I'm trying to do. That's what I, I'm trying to do so every day. Every day. All right. Thank you. I love you. I love you, Brent. You have a good uh, uh, rest of your weekend with your wife. And um, I'm just going to go back into the chat. Okay, th thank you very much, Carol. And uh, thank you. Big love to you too. And uh, you know, anyway, that that's real awesome, guys. I I love I love you guys. Thank you for the kind words. And uh, you know, and I do apologize. Um, I do want this to be like a safe space, a positive place. And uh, I want you guys to feel good when you come out of here. I don't want. You I don't want you to feel bad and uh you know i've let it slip and uh you know it's on me and i apologize and uh but i love you guys and uh i don't take any of you for granted and uh everybody in my uh inner circle and stuff you know big love to you because you guys have supported me you guys have had my back um you know, and I do love you and I do appreciate you. And, uh, you know, um, but yeah, we're going, we're going to have fun. We're going to do these movie reviews and, uh, we're going to, I'm going to try to have the special guest and, uh, but we're going to see if the special guest can come on because this special guest is a big YouTuber and has a lot more going on than I do a lot more successful. And, uh, this person, I think would be good for the show. It would be good for, you know, us to have a good conversation, something positive. And uh, I've never seen nothing negative out of this person. So uh, I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'll let it be a mystery person. It'll be exciting. Um, but when this person comes, you know, I want to give them, give them the most respect and uh, love and respect. When the, if this person comes on, I want to give them the love and respect, and uh, treat this person, you know, like like part of the family, you might say. Um, 
but anyway, guys, um, I love you guys. And, uh, you know, I just feel blessed to have you guys on this channel. And, uh, you know, the interaction's been beautiful. Um, and like I said, you can email me. I, I talk to anybody. I've, I've had people on the phone, on the computer and stuff. And uh, I always keep that safe phone number where someone can actually talk to me. And for advice or, you know, to pray, um, you know, I'll pray for anybody. A lot of people have prayed for me and stuff. And, uh, you know, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this live. And uh, you guys have a good weekend. And uh, I'm going to do a video. I got an idea of doing a video this week. I'm going to put it out there. And uh, hopefully it'll be something positive that can help or at least make you feel good. Um, but, you know, anyway, uh, what's that? Sounds good. Special. Yeah. But anyway. We'll see if that special guest comes. I can't promise, but it's looking pretty good, but we'll see. But if that guest comes, we want to give that guest love, respect, and have a good show. And, uh, you know, like I said, the panel's going to be, you know, two women, which I already got Amy and one more. And then if a guy wants to come on, and that, that's going to be it. It's going to be a controlled panel. There's not going to be no jump ons, um, but anyway, and it'll it'll be a good subject. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time, and then after we have that guest, then we'll do our movie review afterwards. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to let you go. God bless to you and all your families, and uh, I'll see you soon. Look out for that video.